the importance of having two sources of heating for your home. Hello, I'm Griff Reese. Welcome to Winning Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, Storm Awen has just smashed through uh, South Wales here, West Wales, and we've got no electric. Uh, I've just been on my phone, luckily, my phone was charged, and uh, the estimated electric is going to be on midday, so we got roughly five, six hours of no electric. Now, I can still have a cup of tea, that's the main thing, so I don't need electric to use a kettle here because I've got this Rayburn. To see a video of how this Rayburn works, click on that link by there to see how the Rayburn works. Now, we've got, this is wood fuel, it also does the hot water as well, and we, you can use it for cooking, so we've got the hot plate on top, we've got the oven there, so it's still pretty good for cooking. This is heating hot water up as well, so say we do needed uh, a bath or a wash, we're going to have hot water in the house regardless of having no electric or not. The only problem using this uh, with no electric is we've got to keep turning the hot water tap on every few hours just to take the, pre the, the, the hotness out of the tank. Because you haven't got that electric uh, pump now, every time that tank goes hot, electric pump kicks in and distributes the heat to the radiators in the house. Now that doesn't work, so to stop that overheating, we just turn the hot water tap on for a free quarter of an hour every now and again, just to take the pressure off uh, the hot water tank. So the purpose of this super quick video is just to show we're having uh, an outbreak now for roughly half a day, no electricity. But it's not really affecting us. The kids have been asking, why doesn't this light work? Why doesn't the TV work? And why can't they have toast? Why can't they have porridge? Where you try and explain uh, everything to them. Actually, they can get porridge. It's just got to be old school uh, way done here. Um, but yeah, you know, if, if we would have no electricity for a week, for a month, uh, we'd still cope okay with the system we've got here. Now, we have got solar panels on the roof as well. But unfortunately, uh, the way the solar panels are rigged up, when there is a power cut, the solar panels don't work either. Um, that sounds stupid, but the reason for that is, is a safety mechanism. Say uh, a tree knocks a cable just down the road, Western Power comes out to fix the line. They cut the electric off so nothing come up when they reconnect it. But then my house is still putting electric into the grid and they could electrocute them. So the way the solar panels work is, once the, the electric goes off, the solar panels cuts off and it won't restart until uh, mains electric is put back on. So we're not off grid by any means, <clears throat> but we are coping with no electric. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty good this morning now that the, the system we've put in and uh, it's working really good today and we're quite pleased with that. Now, if you wanted to see an in-depth video of how we heat and power our home, Click on the link by there to see that video. Uh, but apart from that, that's it. The kettle is boiling. Oh yeah, look at that. And that's it. Well, quick vlog today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.